So there was an assembly at school and all the families are gathered together and three kids are on the stage and the teacher comes out and she says, Bobby, can you do this? And he goes, then she goes, Tina, can you do this? And she goes, she goes, the third kid says, Randy, can you do this? Randy goes, and his mom and dad go, yay, Randy. What? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. <laughs>
Quindi non è un amico la testa, né? Tu dai una o una mira viale criminale? Ti prende a dire chi si viene a te a me? Even though it looked really interesting, it, was, it had great special effects in terms of Excellent. not only explosions, but like kills as well. Yeah, everything looked, yeah. looked spot, look, it looked um, Hacksaw Ridge good. Yeah. Didn't look as graphic, but the quality of the visuals and the sound, and <clears throat> Hacksaw Ridge got an Oscar for sound, so yeah. uh, that, that looked great. Yeah, the only concerns I would have is if it... I don't want to use the word Bollywoodizes it too much. That's like if there's like a these style of films, even though you know we, we like the the songs in, in in films that it fits, right? Yeah. But if like <laughs> if if there's like this big battle and then there's like this big song and dance number, right? In the tense afterwards, it might bother me. A little <laughs> bit. And if or, it's not as graphic as it should be, even though correct. this trailer did look, it had. Normal ones, they kind of go away from the kills. Right. This had some blood. It had right. People shot point blank. Right. So, um, in terms of depicting war, obviously, it's, it's a violent thing. Mm -hmm. It's a very violent thing. And at, my big thing is always, and you guys will know, because we do not know this soldier's I would love to know life. the story. Yeah, and don't know this, this battle or this war. But when... When it, it amazes me how often filmmakers take liberties with true stories because I just it, it boggles my mind. It's like you're retelling something. So what you're doing is you're, you're you're lying by taking the events that took place and only including some of them. Now it's one thing to say based on true events, or if you go all over and like Quentin does. Exactly, you've completely hyperstylized. Yeah. But I hope this isn't a romanticized version of the true story so that yeah. we miss the, the real essence of this obviously important person. Um, but it, it looks really, really good. Sorry. Yeah, I thought the trailer actually looked quite good. The, the score was exactly what you want. Yeah. Felt Powerful. like an epic military with emotion uh, and the love interest. Uh, great line when he said, I'm either gonna come back Hoisting a flag or be wrapped up in it, but either way, I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, sorry, I'm trying to. Karen Johar produced this, but there was there's like a six, ton of producers, there's six producers, so he could just be yeah. for his money. Yeah, he, he has a lot just, of it. Probably just wrote a check. Um, is she from Kabir Singh? No, did we not pick up on that? Is she? Is she the? Re the yeah. The, wow. She's pretty. She's pretty. We loved pretty. Loved pretty. Oh yes, I, I did, did not I, pick up. On I that. did not pick up on that either. <laughs> See, we're dumb. We're very dumb. Um, and then, he, and I'm sure VJ Roz was in there somewhere too. Sardev, who I believe we saw in Oh, of Sons. Yes, yes, yes. He got to start in the first student of the year, not student of the year two, like with Alia. Mm -hmm. um, he, I believe that's where he got his start. Um, the post looks cool. Mm -hmm. It looks more gritty there. Cause that's another one of the things when it, and when films make something look too pretty when mm -hmm. it's supposed to look dirty, right? Like it's supposed to look like an Anya Akashiyev dirty film, but I, I, Disney does this all the time. All the time. And it's one of my least favorite parts about Disney films. Everything is clean. Yep. <laughs> Everything. Yes. It's it's nauseating sometimes. <laughs> um, but like like if you have a war film where they're supposed to have dirt and grime and blood. All over the place, and then yeah. just like really clean. There was an awful, not saying it's going to be that, but I don't, I don't want it to be. There that. was an awful Civil War film that was made, and many, many years ago, and it was a faith-based <clears> film, <throat> so I knew going in it was probably going to be not good, and that was the biggest problem. Everything looked like it had just been made. <laughs> Every Confederate uniform, yeah. all of the wagons, everything was like 
freshly right out of the sound stage where they had cut and paint everything. I'm like, could you guys age it a little bit for me? <laughs> and it costs, believe it or not, it costs a lot of money to make stuff look bad. There's a there's a reason they give Oscars to production design and it's, art direction. It's a lot of Because work. it's a lot of work to make it look. And a lot of money. A lot of money and not just not just in that, you got to do that start to finish. The whole thing's got to look the same. It said it's coming in August. August 12th, I think. You know, it's funny. They, every, they, they, there's now a steady release of stuff coming out, but it's all obviously OTT. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see if once we get to, I think, didn't they say RR is coming out in October? In October, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And I know distributors here are hesitant. They're thinking, oh, crap, we're hitting August. So anybody with a Halloween film is like, got to bite the bullet. And then all of the Oscar stuff that usually comes out of the holidays, they've got to have the release dates and get ready for distribution. And I, I'd be, I, I wouldn't know what to do if I was a producer on a film right now. Amazon, Netflix are like, give me please. <laughs> yeah, I, what I don't like, and who was it that complained about this? A movie that just released here, where they released it simultaneous online and in theaters. And I think you've got to... Space Jam? I don't know, because Space Jam did well. Um, but I think at the very... You don't need to wait three months anymore, like mm -hmm. they used to. But give it two weeks. Yeah. Let the theaters take the bulk of the people who are vacation. I got, to, I got to watch Quiet Place, too, because it's on iTunes now. But it was in theaters it a couple was. months. Yeah. It's still in theaters. Yeah. And that's cool. So let the first two weeks be in theaters and I see... I paid 20 bucks for it to buy it. Yeah. But that's so, cheaper than going to the movies here. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's expensive in Los Angeles to go to the film. Yeah. <laughs> Get to go to the theater. Yeah, I don't know if you knew this, but if the average cost of going is 15, 15 bucks. Yeah. Per, which is like, per person. So you're talking about 1,200 rupees a ticket. And that's... That's the you're going at night, not matinee. Matinee, you could. We get got cheaper. some cheaper prices. You could get in for nine hundred rupees at an early show. If you go to an IMAX, it's like twenty bucks. Oh yeah, but anyways, anyway, this looked really good. I hope it it's actually as good as it does look. We got oh, there's actually uh, another film coming out next week. Mimi with a uh, oh Pankaj. yes, Pankaj's movie. I hope that one's good because that one also looked, looked really great. good. So we'll see. Let us know uh, any other information we need to know about this in, in down in the comments below. Josh!